for the newest uh, Star Wars room tour, dated 20th of February 2016, as you can see in front of you. I had tons of requests for this, and I've been putting it off just because I've been waiting to spend a little bit of money just completely redoing half my room. Um, so if, you, if you've recently seen my... Oh, I can't remember when I last did one, but it's completely changed again. So, uh, not completely, but um, yeah, quite an upgrade, and I'm happy with it. Really happy with it. There's a few tiny little changes I want to make still. Um, but for the most part, I've pretty much decked out this room. So let's go in and take a look. Um, I'll start off just behind the door. I'll give you a quick quick look around, actually. So I'll just close that door. So that, that, all that stuff's been there for a while. We'll go around, there's a window there. And this is pretty much what I've put in recently. Um, within the last week or two. All of that furniture I've put in. And I've been able to display everything here. So, like I said, we'll start off on the door. Literally just this morning, I've, I've uh, wall-mounted my uh, lightsabers. They're, they're just simply just broom hangers. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. There's Darth Vader's lightsaber up there. And I've been able to put Kylo Ren's up here. So, they're quite easy to take down. Back of my door, get a couple of canvas prints, and just where I hang my uh, Star Wars hats. Now, this all this furniture is all Billy from IKEA, minus um, the adjustable shelving. So we'll go here. I've got just got my little itty bitties collection up here. Like I said, none of this is sort of really final. It's just um, it'll probably stay like this for a while, but I can always move stuff around. Here, I've just got a few of my favourite DC figures. Um, I've recently picked up this Green Lantern, Batman, and Green Arrow from the DC Icons collection from um, DC Collectibles. I'm really impressed with those figures, um, and I'll just I'm gonna build up a bit of a Justice League as they bring out each figure. Um, I've got Flash on the way, and hopefully I can get Aquaman, Superman in the next few weeks. Down here, I've just got a few of my favorite Marvel Legends figures and my Ninja Turtles. So it's got my Guardians, Deadpool, a couple of Spidey guys, and the Turtles. Yeah, it's got a few other bits and pieces. Just a couple of plushies, some glasses, um, little Angry Birds. Underneath that, I've got my Walking Dead comics and Blu-ray seasons. Um, still need to pick up the fourth. And just a bag of bag of stuff. I can't actually think of what's in there. Down on this bottom shelf, I've just got those... Um, you know, the thing no books. It's my Walking Dead figure collection here. So sort of got all my sort of comic figures here. And we go across into the TV realistic figures. So I still need to get a few to catch up with that, but I'm happy with that. Now we'll go across to mostly Lego. So just sort of scan through this. Got my Ewok Village, which is sort of, sort of turning into something a little bit bigger. I've give, put the base plates on and added some mini figures from like the Battlefront um, mini figure four packs, and so I've got some more rebels, some more troopers coming into fight. Tidarium, I love that ship. Then we go over to sort of. Return of the Jedi, Tatooine. We've got the sail barge, the desert skiff, the Rancor pit, and Jabba's palace. Moving up, we've got some Force Awakens. So we've got Maz's castle. It's a little scene here with Kylo versus Rey. Rey's speeder, and the Millennium Falcon. With some Kanji Club guys there. So we move up, we go to Rebels. So we've got the Wookiee gunship, the Phantom, the Ghost, the Ghost crew in front. Inquisitor's TIE Advanced prototype, the ATDP with a driver in it. And here I've got a few of the um, Imperial characters from Rebels. So we've got the Inquisitor, Callus. Um, and a good good stack of stormtroopers. 
There's that proto fit. Now to go up here, we've got Pose X Wing. Which is one of my favourite sets. I love it. I love it a lot. There's Poe and BB-8 plus the other Rebel pilot. Goss Tours. There we've got the V Wing. I think it's a V Wing. Got some Imperials. And the AT-80. And the Snow Speeder. Then up the top, we've got an old Republic set. Which, you know, it's right up there, so <laughs> even I can barely see it. That's one of the first sets I picked up with my girlfriend. Qui-Gon Jinn, that was one of my first Star Wars Lego sets from when I was young. That's why I just keep all my spares in that Lego head there. And the Star Destroyer. So now we move to this shelf. I've got I've just got the Force Awakens um, X-Wing. And these two little, there's a cushion up there and that Millennium Falcon cushion up there. Um, my girlfriend picked them up for me recently. They're only like $14 each and they just, they look cool, so. Yeah, and sort of moving down from the Lego, we go to my Force Awakens shelves that I've got going at the moment. Um, this is just the three and three quarter inch figures. Not quite up to date, there's a few that are just starting to pop out again now, like the uh, Han Solo and um, a couple other two packs. But so far I've been pretty happy, I've been able to get the uh, Black Series Finn. Um, the Black Series Kylo Ren down below. And the Black Series Stormtrooper that's still there in the box. And as I come across from that, we go to the Black Series collection. I've got a whole bookshelf of Black Series, which is just awesome. I love it so much. Um, then we've got the Resistance right at the top here. Um, I've just got like my Force Awakens popcorn buckets and cups at the top. We've got Chewie, Han, Finn, BB-8, Ray, Poe, Asti, Resistance Trooper, and the other Poe. Um, so we go down here. I've got this is a First Order shelf and some and some other villains, but mostly First Order. So I've got like half a dozen stormtroopers there and Hux, two flame troopers, snow trooper, snow trooper commander, a tie pilot, Kylo. We've got the Guavians. Here we've got my Empire shelf. Stormtrooper there trying to hug Vader. He's just falling over. <laughs> The Emperor's Wrath Vader in the back there. Down below, sort of got my OT Rebels, good guys, slash Wampa and Tauntaun. The only figure I need to complete my Black Series at the moment is the uh, Shock Trooper and the Special Forces TIE Fighter pilot, if you want to count that, but I'm not spending $400 on the TIE Fighter. But down here I've got the bounty hunters and sort of miscellaneous other aliens. The San Diego Comic Con, Jabba the Hutt. And the Parning Carbonite from that exclusive Boba Fett set. And down here I've just got the prequel figures. So I've got Maul, Django, the clones, Anakin, Obi-Wan, Cody, and the other Phase 2 clone. And just the accessories tin that I use. So that's... That's the Black Series shelf. Alongside that, I've just got some got some posters hanging up. This is my photo of Peter, Peter Mayhew from Supernova. And the signed picture of Chewie from Peter, which is really cool. Um, and recently I found this, I got that Millennium Falcon for Christmas from my girlfriend, or my birthday, I can't remember. But recently I found this sort of, um, just curtain just a sheer curtain but it's just it's just perfect fit for this window so I was really excited about that and on the side of this Billy I've just got some other vintage collection figures there and my giant inquisitor which I got for 12 bucks it was on clearance all right so you've seen most of this a few times so I'll, I will go over it still um, but sort of most of these figures they doesn't change a lot anymore um, as soon as that sort of line has really quietened down a lot, so 
Um, just got helmet, second Rancor, ATSD. I've just got some 12 inch figures up here. Um, nothing too expensive or special about them. But, well, except Jar Jar, he's pretty special. <laughs> Um, my girlfriend bought all those Amidala's portrait editions. She really loved them, so she bought them and then told me I could display them. And I, I like them. I do. I do enjoy those Queen Amidala's. They do look great. I just got a couple of Boba Fett figures, 3D glasses, a Slave One and an X-wing. Um, you'll go back across to this, this shelf. It's a bit of a Vader slash Anakin shelf. Flo and Mace. Oh, it's got random little tidbits everywhere. Still got the Bounty Hunter set from the Vintage Collection. Still remember I won that on Arc Trooper Mark's contest. That would have been a good four or five years ago. It's still a, still a treasured possession. My Hot Wheels. I do need a few to catch up on, but that's okay. I'll, I'll get there. Here's a little Macquarie concept shelf or just concept art shelf I've, I've sort of put together. There's the Star Wars art concept book and I opened up all the Macquarie figures. And I'll put the um, Snow Trooper in there as well, the Joe Johnson concept Snow Trooper. So it's just sort of a concept shelf. I, I was really quite happy with all these figures once I opened them all up. Yeah, just a few other little bits and pieces there. And the helmet to the Black Series Kylo helmet. Alright, and these shelves sort of work their way down from episode to episode. So, obviously at the top here it's all Return of the Jedi. So that's all sort of Endor, Battle of Endor. Um, Luke and Vader. There's still so many holes in the collection. But I'm still pretty happy with it. Let me start getting around to sort of Jabba's Palace. The Rancor. Not too many figures left from this sort of this section. Trying not to wobble the phone too much. Finally finished the band about six months ago, I guess. Maybe a little bit longer. Can't remember. We go down to Empire Strikes Back. This is starting to fill up, fill up a lot, despite the there's not as many diverse diverse characters in um, Empire as there is in A New Hope and Return of the Jedi, mainly because of the Jabba's Palace and Cantina scenes. They sort of add a lot of extra characters, and I hope the light shows up all right. We got the Cantina from Episode Four, so pretty much got every character that has been made couple extra guys back there if you can see <laughs> we sort of go out to Tatooine out of the cantina into the streets of Tatooine Tusken Raiders random droids we go down to a new hope sort of got the hunt for the droids sort of get onto the Death Star here Black Series Leia, which I recently got. Now we are into the Sith. Grievous and Obi-Wan falling over again. Can't be trusted. I'm always coming through here and picking up figures that just sort of tip over over time. It's a bit of a pain, but it's not so bad. Most of them stay pretty still. Now we've got Attack of the Clones. Now we've sort of got this sort of Geonosis Arena sort of thing going on here with all the Jedi. And some clones littered in there. Here we get Phantom Menace. So we've been able to fill a lot of gaps recently over the last sort of six, twelve months. Guys like CO Bibble and uh Ch and uh Senator Palpatine, just little characters like that. Um that Padme and the C-3PO sort of been able to fill those little gaps up a little bit 
I think I've got all the pod races that are available. But uh, yeah, then we go down to the Clone Wars. Still got a bit to go, a bit to go mostly clones. Um, with my custom Mandalore Darth Maul. I do need to get the uh, spider leg maul, or the robot, rob robotic leg maul again. Because I did use that figure as a custom base for that. Let me sort of go around to the good guys section of the Clone Wars. I'm going to pick up that dropship a while back. Not sure if that made an appearance in my last video. And the ATTE. Down below that, we've got the ATAT -AT and just like accessories boxes, paint boxes. Um, that big container under there, that's all full of just other figures. I've got Lord of the Rings Hobbit figures in there, all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, so, yeah, that's basically most of all the movies, Clone Wars figures, and stuff like now, that. That's one of my favorite parts um, that I've been able to do. The making of Star Wars books, I rec recommend these. These are amazing books. Um, that Chewy there, it's not the exact figure that I first got when I was a kid, but it's it's the same figure. It's not the figure I got, but that's what it just says. There's a bit of a memento there. Making of Empire and Making of Jedi. Down here it's got some cups and some, sh some of the uh, Hot Wheels ships. All my magazines, mostly all of them are all Star Wars Insiders, plus I've got like Empire, Sci-Fi Now magazine, um, some other bits and pieces, a couple of mad magazines in there, just all Star Wars related ones. Down here are my folders. Um, so that's all Star Wars cards, that was a Topps Force Awakens trading card collection that came out, I still haven't completed that, I need to. Um, it was only 200 cards, so... I've got a folder for sort of newspaper, magazine articles, um, other bits and pieces, and then I've got a whole folder there for just for merchandise and catalogs, which is like toy mag, toy catalogs, um, just bits and pieces like that. Just whether like there's Star Wars clothing, I can always cut it out and put it in the in the folders there. And the fact files, which I'm currently working on, there's sort of random stuff. Elite Series Phasma there. Bucket there full of the card doubles. That was my Sphero BB-8. Signed picture of James Arnold Taylor, which is pretty cool. Got that from um, Free Video 2000 a few years back. I don't know if he's around on YouTube much anymore. And just the Star Wars A New Hope poster, which is awesome. Well, it's not even A New Hope. All right, we're mostly way around the room now. Um, this is probably the last big bookshelf. The Vader voice changer helmet, minus voice changer, and the Black Series Kylo Ren helmet up there. And this is sort of my vintage shelf. Um, don't have a lot. I'd love to get some more vintage stuff, but I, I, condition doesn't really bother me. I'm, I've got a lot of figures here that are all like old beaters that are, you know, really badly worn. If you look at Luke's face there. It is really badly worn, but to me it all tells a story. Um, this case I bought for fifteen dollars. All the the three clips still work, and it comes with the original stickers in it. Um, so I was I was pretty really happy to find that. But I'd love to get some more vintage stuff because it really does look good. And I'm going to piss a lot of people off by having Yoda hold a lightsaber. <laughs> But uh, go down to my media shelf, mostly media. So yeah, Star Wars DVDs. Um, I was really happy to find the uh, original trilogy there on DVD that come with the uh, laser disc rips of the before special editions. I've got the Gendy Tartakovsky Clone Wars, the Droid series, Ewoks, the two Ewok movies. Um, the Rebels, the Lego Star Wars movies, the Robot Chicken Star Wars, the Family Guys, fam, uh, Fanboys, all the Clone Wars series, first series of Rebels on Blu-ray, Star Wars Blu-rays, VHS, VHS Special Editions, the soundtracks, including the uh, Shadows of the Empire one. 
and down here I've just got a few PS3 games. More VHS tapes, the non-special edition of the VHS tapes. Star Wars comics and graphic novel collections. A couple of art of books there from Force Awakens and the Clone Wars. And like I said, just, just random other bits and pieces like the these figures and just stuff scattered around. I mean, it's some novels. Most of them are sort of legends now, so. But they're still cool stories. I do have the Force Awakens novelization that's in the bedroom. I'm reading that at the moment. And my Lego Star Wars books. I bought that six pack of kids' Star Wars books in the. One day I'd like to have a child of my own and teach them the ways of the Force. <laughs> There's some cool books, cool stories. Down here is mostly like my sort of reference, reference books. Get Vader out of the way. Big blueprints book back. Then we're gonna move out. This is just my desk where I work at. Do bits and pieces. Um, it's got all my drawers of bits and pieces there, and pens and pencils, and my tripod for when I'm filming my reviews and. Lots of bits and pieces around here. I've got some, I've got a bit of a rebel shelf going here. Um, massive thanks to Fallen Jedi. He sent me last week. He sent me the ATDP driver and the Tie Pilot, so I was able to complete that so far. Um, really happy with those two figures. They're really cool. So I've pretty much got a complete collection, um, minus the new ones that are coming out, like Captain Rex and um, the new Inquisitors. Now I've got a little bit of an R2-D2 tribute here. Which is cool. More expanded universe slash legends. This goes pretty deep. But I decided I'd put all my Sith Lords on show at the front. Well, most of them, there's a couple that didn't fit in the first row. We've got Revan and Malak. Malgus, my custom. Ah. Oh. Can't remember his name now. Lord Vindican, I think it was. It's been a while. The legacy, legacy Sith characters, Secret Apprentice, Ventress. But yeah, there's just figures go back real deep here. So I might have to drop that shelf. One level. Customized Darth Bane because I cut the shitty fluorescent yellow armor. I painted it up to look good. <laughs> so that's my EU slash legends move up. I've got the BMF sitting up there. It's wedged into the roof, so it's not going to fall down on my head while I'm filming anything. <laughs> the only Funko Pop I'll, I own, um, which I didn't even pay for, so I still stand by the fact that I haven't paid for a Funko Pop figure. I find that I'm quite proud of that. Silence Blaster, yeah, it's just two other pieces, and there we are back at the door. So that is my room tour, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything you'd like to see up close, um, just just let me know, and I'll try and do separate videos on this sort of stuff. If you want to see more of anything, more Walking Dead, I plan on doing some more Walking Dead videos, some more Lego, I'd love to. Um, I've reviewed a stack of these figures in the past, so you can scroll back through my channel. But that's just about it, guys. Apart from the few ships that are sort of hanging from the ceiling. But thanks, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Getting through this whole video. Any comments and feedback, leave below. I'd love to hear, hear what you think. You know, I'm sure I'll do another update in the next 6 to 12 months. Again, thank you very much for watching and may the force be with you. See you guys.